So uh, my psychic gained a little weight. She's no longer a medium. Marty, I'm from LA, or as we say in Spanish, La. <laughs> I, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I remember they told us that hairspray was putting a hole in the ozone layer. Yeah. And we bought that shit, right? Like, no research or anything. We're like, yeah, nuclear bombs, oil spills. No, the destruction of the human race was going to come because of Aquanet. Right? Like Mother Nature was up there going, oh no, the cholas are wearing bangs. <laughs> that the nuclear bang was less destructive than the chola bang. I don't get it. You know? But now I, I realize that the flock of seagulls haircut is actually killing flocks of seagulls. You know? <laughs> I read in the news last night that in Sweden they had the first successful womb transplant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess they took a 60 year old lady's womb and gave it to a 30 year old lady and she got pregnant and she just had the baby. What? Right, yeah. I mean, that's great news. Like, like, how many women can now have babies, right? Like, that's awesome. So I told my mom this and the first thing she thought was, how much can I sell my womb for? <laughs> She's like, I got a spare womb. that room a long time ago. That room is there. But she's all excited now. She's going to start a new, new uh, company. It's called Womb Service. Uh, they even have their own jingle. It goes like this. Come and knock on my womb. We'll be waiting for you. But yeah, I guess like when you get matched up, you know, you're called womb mates or something. I don't know. I spent a lot of time with my parents because um, at 36 years old, I moved back in with them. Woo! Yeah, no joke. Yeah, I just said, yeah. <laughs> but I can't complain. It's awesome. It really is. I mean, it's, it's really the life, you know, except for the whole, like, annihilation and destruction of my self-esteem. Uh, I like it, you know? I mean, come on. How depressed can I be? I'm standing up in front of you with ironed underwear on. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Cry myself to sleep in my race car bed? I don't think so. <laughs> made for dreams, not nightmares, you know what I mean? Come on. You know you're going to have a good day when you started out eating Mickey Mouse pancakes, you know? Just, uh... My girl came up to me the other day, she's like, you live with your parents? Do you even feel like a man? And I'm like, no, I don't. I feel like a king, baby. <laughs> but you know what? Living with your parents is natural. That's why we call them pay rents. <laughs> I was in the army, and when I was in the army, there was this kid from Mexico, and his name was Reyes, and he didn't speak English. And uh, Reyes would practice his English listening to the rest of the guys in the, in the unit. And the problem is that we used to cuss a lot. So Reyes used to practice his cussing with us. The problem is he used to put all his fuckings in the wrong place. <laughs> so the other day, or one day Reyes comes up to me and goes, Me and Sonny Martinez were fucking in the motor pool! I'm like, whoa! <laughs> You want to try that again? He goes, oh yeah. Me and Sergeant Martinez were in, Sergeant Martinez were in the motor pool fucking. <laughs> I said, Reyes, first of all, we were in the fucking motor pool, okay? And second of all, what we do in that motor pool is between you and me. <laughs> 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 